Well, good morning, YouTube. It's your boy, Only Official Damien, again back at it with the FK mod episode. <laughs> so, yeah, today's gonna be a little fun one. It shouldn't be too hard. Um, we're gonna be flushing out the radiator system, taking out all the f coolant and fluids out of it, and putting in new Acuity reverse flow radiator hoses, and gonna be adding. VP fuels, stay frosty coolant. Um, it's water based, so it's definitely legal in many of the um, events that is required to not have like certain chemicals and stuff like that in certain events. So, yeah, I'm excited to get this all going. It's definitely gonna bring the the temperatures way down, even just for a stock FK, you know. So. Yeah, so let's get to it. You already know what time it is. Yeah. And also, please like and subscribe. It means so much. I really appreciate every single one of you for tuning in so far. Thank you so much. Um, all right, so let's get to it. Let me show you. All right, so this is going to be all the general stuff you're going to be needing for today. I got this um, OEM tools um, funnel thing to put the coolant in and check the levels. It does have like a stopper on top and a lid. Got your all different fittings. And so we got the radiator hoses from Acuity right here. We got the clamps that comes provided. A little bit of directions here. Here's the VP Racing uh, Stay Frosty Coolant. It's definitely accepted in like places like IMSA, official performance coolant representing pretty much first steps is really just taking out the the air intake and you're gonna need a extension to get into the bolts that are down deep below um, you're gonna need this pick what they call precision pick yeah you're gonna need that to take out some of the stuff clips from the air intake and honestly that's pretty much it and you know you're gonna want a bucket to get all the OEM coolant that's in there so yeah that's pretty much it we're just gonna um, we're gonna lift the car up some of what you would call it these are uh, race ramp wheel chokes yeah so I got these these 12 inch wide pretty much just gonna put it like so yeah, I almost went the wrong way. went the wrong way whatever there we go. Boom. Just like so. Drop to Yokohama Advan. Boom. There we go. All set. Alright, so with the car jacked up. Got my helper here with the bucket ready to go. Got you just pop the hood open like so. And pretty much you're gonna want to start going underneath. Get that bucket ready. Oh, what are you doing, dog? Don't worry about it. It's all good. <laughs> I know you're excited too. Get this cooling done, huh? Checking things out underneath. All right, I'm gonna get to this in a bit. Um, but yeah, first let's uh, get this cooling out. Checking things out underneath there. <laughs> Dude, shout out to Grassroots Motorsports for the free t-shirt. One of the best, you know, magazines that are out there just promoting everything to do with motorsport and everything race car. <laughs> everything, you know, pretty much that I'm into, you know. I highly recommend checking out that magazine. If you haven't already, definitely subscribe. You know, it has some of the best content for race car shit. You know <laughs> but yeah so let's get to it all right so this is gonna be a weird angle but pretty much you're gonna want to get these uh screws and all that from the skid plate you're gonna have th these star ones right here and you're gonna have these 
90 180 degree turn flathead screws in here okay so when you're finally underneath here you want to get the drain plug right there and pretty much just twist it off and you're gonna want to make sure your buckets underneath you pretty much it should um, I believe it goes through there through that hole yep boom all right so we're gonna fully send it <laughs> wish us luck for no mess <laughs> so it's just there it is it wasn't hard to unscrew and here that goes so yeah what you're going to want to do for it to fall out quicker uh, you're going to want to take off the radiator cap Alright, so that pretty much took around 8 to 10 minutes uh, to fully drain out. Um, pretty much we're at the at its end of its course. You saw it dripping. Um, it's pretty much still dripping, just a little tad bit. Pace is getting slower and slower. So I'm just gonna wait a few more minutes to fully like drip out and then pretty much uh, taking off all the rest of the hoses. But first, we gotta do this. So pretty much we're gonna wanna start off by taking off the air intake, first taking off this, taking off this clamp here. Now there's a bolt right there, and there's a bolt right there, and there's a clip here. Yeah, this clip right here. All right, so this is pretty much what the coolant looks like when it's at 9,000 miles. That's just trash and debris, <laughs> but yeah. Better look on what the coolant looks like. All right, so right now we're gonna be uh, getting the air intake out, and pretty much gonna need to start off with this tool and start taking these out right here. Alright, so with the air intake out, we're going to start by taking out this um, cooling cover for the engine, engine cooling cover. Uh, pretty much you're just going to get a flathead and just start prying all these out. Kind of just want to just leave it off honestly all right so our next attack point is going to be this top radiator clamp right here pretty much going to be releasing that and that goes to that the other one let's see i'm guessing yeah it's, it's this one right here and this one right here i'm guessing that's right yeah it's going to the intercooler or right bottom radiator all right, so pretty much you're gonna wanna start off with the top uh, coolant hose. Be easier to attack, so pretty much what you wanna do, I'm just getting to use these uh, long nose pliers to like clamp it down. Um, pretty much top one's pretty easy to access, so just go like so, shimmy this off. All right, so you wanna get some pliers and you just pretty much want to start compressing this down like so there we go move it away let's see 
get this other one right here. All right, so pretty much we're gonna start unwrapping the hoses from here. Clamps that come with the packaging. Alright, so pretty much did like a little comparison. Um, pretty much this is going to be the fitting. Pretty darn close. Uh, let's see. You know. I don't know if that helps as a comparison. It looks pretty close, but you just want to make sure these rivets right here, these tabs go and secures inside the reservoir. So. This one pretty much fits. To show you as an example, you just want to line up the tabs with the openings here, just like so. Boom. Pretty much secured. I don't know. It seems a little loose. I don't know if you want that necessarily. All right. All right, hopefully this fits and we don't get no trouble, you know? All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna be sticking the long one first uh, from the top engine uh, section to the lower. And then we're gonna put the this smaller one of the top radiator to the lower engine one. Hopefully that made sense. But here's a quick look of the um, Installation guide from Acuity that's provided with the hardware. All right, so start off with the, the larger one. All right, you want to make sure the hose goes all the way. To the edge of where the metal piece here gets at. <laughs> Hopefully I'm explaining that right. Let's see. Okay. So I did put these on a little beforehand. Just gonna make these loose a little bit more. Go. Probably didn't see any of that. Let's see here. Now again, you're gonna want um, the very end of the hose to touch the the very end of the radiator. This clamp got stuck for some reason. Oh man. Easier. You know, I'm probably just gonna go from underneath. It's a lot easier. Alrighty, so pretty much got everything tied up and locked away. Everything's locked in. Pretty much just right here. Uh, focus. 
Put that right there. It's tightened right there. There's a, there's a cutie logo. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, I got there. That's what this looks like. Looking down here. Yeah. 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 Let's see. Let's see. Where's the hole going? Hmm. Pretty much right there. There it is. All right, for this next step, you already know we're just gonna put these clips back in here. Oh no. I really need that. God! All right, retrieved it. <laughs> Even got the, the missing clip, added that. Um, so put some rags just in case because I do not want that to happen again. Okay, so we're all set up, car's lowered, and everything's tightened up. All we have to do is just pour in the coolant. Um, factory coolant capacity says 1.26 with an overflow of 0.3 or another 0.25, another quarter basically. But I'm um, pretty much going to be adding an entire VP Racing Stay Frosty container first. All right, so let's get to it. Uh, uh. Let me get this for you. It's chug. So it looks like the level's going down more as it heat cycles. Just gonna a little bit more.
All right, so with the system, heat cycled a few times, turned off the car twice, turned it back on, and all right. So you want to put the cap back on, make sure to line up the tabs properly. All right, so this is the temps from just starting the car, going around the corner, about to drive for like 30 minutes. To line up the tabs properly. And man. Alright, so pretty much just filled up gas and just turned it on right now. Definitely need an oil cooler. 90 already, man. Damn. off the freeway just at a, a standstill there are some of the numbers right now so here's an update just some spirited driving nothing too crazy but um just been fluctuating between 85 i mean 75 to 80 miles per hour just been coasting